guys, Cindy Oda here with My Artsy Endeavors. All right, I am working on, um, I did a swatch of some watercolors that I just got in. And I also purchased these. They're called Bean Fang, B-I-E-N-F-A-N-G, watercolor brush pens that um, are filled with speedball. And the reason I got these is it says they're acid-free. Well, actually, Peg Robinson um, told me about these. They're acid-free, they're permanent and they're a blendable color so what I'm doing is I'm trying to get them activated now what you do <clears throat> is you take one of them out they have a white ball right here, or a white uh, band here you just unscrew the top pop off that band screw the top back on until you hear a pop and then just finish it and then what you have to do is you have to, there's a couple little spots here on the pens where you have to squeeze. Now, I'm going to tell you, um, at first I thought the chocolate was, or the chocolate, the brown was completely dried out. I must be thinking about chocolate. Mm. Um, I thought the brown was completely dried out, but no, it just took me forever to activate it. I'm still working on this green one. See, it's not really soupy yet. I do have to say I love the idea of the fact that they've got speedball in them and the fact that they're permanent when dry and the fact that they are um, watercolor brushes. However, I will tell you, getting them activated is not fun. You have to have patience, all right? And I'm just going to keep this one in my hand to show you. This green one, I've been messing with for quite a while now it's got a green on the tip but it's not it's it's more of a dry see it's a drier brushing it's not a watercolor brushing now the yellow wow that one came down really quick so the yellow is ready to go see that this green one I'm having issues with so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top back on the yellow we're gonna put that back in I'm going to squeeze some more on this green. And I'm squeezing quite hard. And I'm still not getting. Is it? Is it? Is it coming? No. Yay! I think maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with the green one. And I had this same difficulty with the brown one as well. So I'm not sure if this is just an older set, but um, just to give you an idea of, of it takes patience to get these adjust to get these um, started. So I'm gonna give up on this green one for right now. I'm gonna do another yellow one, and this is a set of um, 12 colors, and I'll show you the colors in just a second just going to go ahead and get this one started. This one is a primary yellow. The other one is a new gambage. I don't know what that means. These names of these colors are really weird. So I'm just going to start squeezing until I start seeing the color coming out into the bristles. Um, yeah, new... Oop. Now, I squeezed it too hard. Did you see that? It dropped into that black. So that means I just have to go easy on the squeeze and get my brush ready. There you go. My brush is ready to go. Okay. So again, be careful because if they're real nice and juicy, they will um, do what that one just did and just drip the ink. So we're going to do another one. This one is a just orange. I don't know if you heard that snap or not, but it just snapped. It's funny because some of them, it's almost like you can feel the ink inside, and other ones like that green and that brown, you can't feel anything on the inside of it. It's almost like it's, I don't know if it's drier in there, or I'm not sure, but I will be putting a note in to Amazon. Um, yeah, there's the orange one. That was really easy. Love the color. Oops. I know it looks like I'm running out of room on here, doesn't it? Then I have 
Vermilion and then Cadam Red Hue. These are the last two. So let's do this one. This is the Vermilion. Again, this one I can feel it, so I don't imagine it's going to take very long to activate this one. I wanted to show you the colors. Here's the colors. They have a blender pen, they have a purple, it's a quinacridone magenta, burnt umber, um, a black, which I really like the black, cerulean blue, primary blue. Okay, and this one's ready to go. And the last one, um, they have a sap green and a hooker's green, and I'm pretty sure it's the, I think it's the sap green I'm having a problem with. So Now one thing I am noticing that when these dry, they have a very matte color, which I kind of like that. It's not glossy at all. It's not chalky at all. Whoops, got it in my fingers. And yeah, I'm still sitting on my squeaky chair. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very matte color, matte finish when they dry. Trying to get some of this red out. Now see here it is, it's starting to come through. I just have to be careful now because if I just keep squeezing really hard, it's going to start dripping and I don't want that to happen. I just want it to wet my bristles. Just thinking about it. Oop, and there we go. We've got color. Now, those two colors look pretty much alike, but that's okay. Alright, so now I just can't wait to play with them. Um, and we'll see, you know, how permanent they are. Actually, you know what? I have, hold on. These are, oops, not that one. I keep sticking my finger in the out. These are dry. So let me grab, I just happen to have my watercolor brush here. And I've got some water. Let's see if we can reconstitute these. Guess what? Yes, we can. See the brown? Let me try it with the green. Oops, might help if you had some water. Um... A little bit, not as much, but that might be because there's not a whole lot of uh, paint on there. Let's try the purple one. Yeah, see they do constitute, reconstitute a little bit. And you, I'm sitting here, I'm really squishing on this. But I think if you're just making something and you want to put, you know, a coating over top. Let me see. Just, you know, a coating over top to, no, it's... No, these all reconstitute. Look at this. Huh. Well, if that's permanent, then I don't know what permanent is because this is not permanent. Look at the green. It pulls it right back up. All right, let me try something else. This yellow is not all the way dry. Let me dry it real quick. <coughs> I can't touch that black. It's got a lot of stuff on it. A lot of ink. So I'm going to dry these up really good. And we're going to try it again. So they're pretty well dry. Let's let them cool down a little bit. Okay. So there's nothing. Nothing on the yellow. So let's try it and see what happens. <clears throat> Guess what? Apparently they weren't dry enough because... Let's try these up here. These are the reds. Now I hit them with the heat gun so they're nice and dry. So let's try it and see what happens. 
Okay, speed. Oh, there's a little bit. There's a little bit. Not a whole lot. Um, they're not going to be like the watercolors, which these are just plain watercolors that I just messed with. So they don't they don't reconstitute that bad. Um, if you really work at them, yeah, you can get some of that off the paper. But again, if you're just going to you know put a spray finish on it, or if you're just going to um, you know throw a coat of something over top of it, whether it be clear gesso or whatever, whatever you may be using on top of them, uh, I think they're pretty good. So yeah, I'm really happy with them. I don't remember how much they were. I want to say either $19.99 or $29.99. I'm going to say $29. Um, but yeah, as long as we can keep them permanent, I think they're going to be fantastic to play with. And I just thought I'd uh, share with you guys. All right. As always, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer them for you. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And happy creating. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.